think back to your first day in Toastmasters, if <coughs> some of you can remember that far back. How exactly has Toastmasters helped you since then? Maybe your body language got better, maybe your vocal variety improved, or mm -hmm. your confidence just went up. The reason why we stay in Toastmasters might be different from the reasons that we join. A lot of us join because we want to feel more comfortable speaking in front of a group. Others join because their friend or coworker uh, strongly suggested that they start attending meetings. But whatever the reason is, the reason why we stay might be different. But it's not often that we actually reflect on how far we've come since the beginning. I joined Toastmasters in August of 2013, and that was when my first icebreaker was. Now I think as it's an appropriate time moving to a new city that I reflect on how far I've come in Toastmasters. And hopefully sharing those experiences with you will help you remember why you joined Toastmasters, as well as give you some ideas on how you can be more involved with your own development in this organization. And I'm gonna do that in the form of three C's, competition, comedy, and companions. The first evening I walked into a Toastmasters meeting, I was met with a surprise. Mila Diamond was giving a speech. She was, practice, she was the guest speaker for that evening, and she was practicing for an international speech contest because she was going to the Toastmasters International Convention. I had no idea what that meant. I just knew that when I saw her give a speech about how she overcame her fears of flying an airplane, I just thought to myself, do all Toastmasters talk like that? <laughs> Little did I know that nine months from that day, I would be on a stage, a huge stage, giving a speech, vying for that very same position in the International Speech Contest. Well, growing up, I wasn't a very competitive person. I was actually very shy and quiet, if you can believe it. And com competition just was too intense for me. It made me extremely nervous. A lot of my club members were encouraging me to compete in this contest because one, they needed more people to compete, and two, because I was a new member. My incentive for taking a leap of courage and competing was the fact that not just I wanted to give a good speech, but because I felt that I had a message to share. I didn't like competition, but I preferred working with people collaboratively, whether it was in a group project at school or in a community service organization. So I wanted to share the message of how I, how I found my voice by paying it forward. So with this speech, I went from the club level to the area level to the division level and then finally to the district level. And throughout all that time, I met an incredibly large amount of talented speakers that each had a unique speaking style as well as a great message to share with their audience. And that, for me, is what the competition became about. It became about that camaraderie and just that spirit of inspiring others and sharing messages that mean a lot to you. But after the last contest I competed in, I realized I had spent the past three months of my life giving more or less the same speech like 50 times. <laughs> so I decided it was time for a change. I needed a change of scene. I needed something more lighthearted. Competition was stressing me out. So my mentor invited me to a stand-up comedy showcase. <laughs> if you've never been to a stand-up comedy show before, I encourage you to go. It was my first time seeing stand-up comedy live, and I enjoyed it very much. It turned out that the person she was going to see was someone I had competed against in one of the contests. He, he came up to me afterwards and told me that I should take this class. The showcase was actually uh, the result of a six-week course in stand-up comedy. And I thought, Sure, why not? It's exactly like Toastmasters. You prepare a set, you get up in front of a stage, and everyone loves it. If you've ever done stand-up comedy before, it is not like Toastmasters at all. <laughs> in fact, the comedy instructor pointed out to me that I have the same problem in Toastmasters that I do in stand-up comedy. Sometimes when I get up in front of a group of people, I find it hard to be myself. And when you're doing stand-up comedy, the audience sees right through you. <laughs> So whether it was doing open mics or just going with my classmates to class every day and learning about stand-up comedy, I learned more of how to be myself in front of an audience. Once I could do that, 
I started to appreciate the people that were in my home club, people that I met at contests, just everyone in my Toastmasters community when I moved up from San Diego. It was a really great feeling when you've been in Toastmasters for a long time and start to meet people inside your club and outside your club. When you can really open up to a group of people about your vulnerabilities and your biggest fears, especially about speaking, and those people accept you and want to grow with you, I think that is what really defines the perfect friendship, right? So I met a lot of people in Toastmasters who took the stand-up comedy classes with me, and a lot of the people that I competed against in the International Speech Contest invited me back to their club, one of those clubs I actually joined and expanded my network even further. And these uh, Toastmasters and I, we mentored each other throughout our Toastmasters career, and we created and fostered that supportive environment that Toastmasters was, was meant to have. So that was ultimately one of the biggest reasons why I stayed in Toastmasters. When I moved to the Bay Area two months ago, honestly, I was afraid that I wouldn't find those three C's again. I wouldn't find the competition, the comedy, and the companions that I had when I was in San Diego. So I searched and I searched, and it took me a while because I knew it was worth having those three things. And as you might guess, I found those three things in Crowdmasters. And that's one of the reasons why I really enjoy being here with all of you, because I've heard a lot of your stories already. I have felt, I feel like this is a very supportive environment. And I look forward to a lot of uh, more, hearing a lot more speeches from you, hearing a lot of your own experiences of what you've gone through in Toastmasters, why you joined, why you stayed, how it changed you as a person. Because I know that with these three C's that I've experienced at Toastmasters, competition, comedy, and companions, it not only made me a better speaker, but also it made me a, a better person and a better friend. Mr. Postmaster.